Welcome to the side of the radio. My name is Shane K5QBF and in this short video I want to introduce you to a new program for logging contacts uh, when you're either portable or at home. It's a relatively simple easy interface. Let's jump into it. Okay, the place you're going to want to go to is hamrs.app, hammers.app. And as it says on the page, simple portable logger. Doesn't get much easier than that. Um, it's available in the App Store right now for uh, $5.99 at the time of this recording, which is uh, March the 31st, 2021. You have uh, four different operating systems to use on a computer as well. I'm a Windows operator, so I downloaded the Windows version of it. Uh, once the program downloads and installs, then uh, you'll see the icon on your desktop, and we can uh, jump over there and get started. All right. So here it is. And as it said, it is a simple logger. Uh, whenever you install this for the first time, it will ask you to create, to put your call sign and your name and then uh, the program will start and this will be where you're where you're sitting you do have the option of going uh, looking up a call sign just as if you were going to do qrz instead of doing that you can do that off here from the app as well um, so for the logbook so i've created a couple of logbooks here so this is what the generic template looks like uh, pretty simple pretty easy to use um, my call sign automatically populates so i would just need to put the frequency in that we're chatting on we're chatting in the person that I'm talking to. Oh, and by the way, it will give you a pop up there to let you know who you're talking to whenever you put their call sign in. Another way to double check, make sure you get the call sign correct as well. Uh, the sent receive, all that's the same. Notes, if you think Mike's a cool dude, you can uh, definitely save uh, notes to the QSO. Anything you'd like to add in there, that gets saved. And then you just hit the save button, uh, it puts them in order. And also keeps track of uh, the top right corner here. It keeps track of uh, how many QSOs that you've done, which for parks on the air, that will let you know if you've got the park activated or not. So let's jump back over to my parks on the air uh, template here. So this information is already populated, minus the frequency. I put the frequency in uh, when I created this. But uh, when you set this up for uh, when you're doing your activation, put your frequency in, it'll automatically find, it already knows what bands you're doing, put your park information, your call sign should automatically populate, then you should be good to go. Uh, so you would put uh, the call sign, their call sign in. So uh, well, look at there, I'm talking to myself. Uh, five nine across the board, you know, it's always five nine. If they're doing a park to park, then you can add their park here and it will save it in this line. So when you export that, you'll get credit for the park to park. Put that information in, hit save. It clears out the uh, the uh, call sign so that you can go right into the next one. And it also lets you know if you've got a duplicate. If you need to edit or change a log, uh, an entry in your log, just hit the gear symbol over here and hit edit. And you can go in and change anything that you might have made a mistake on if you make mistakes. I know I do. I've had to change several of them. All right, so once uh, everything is done and you've done with your activation, go back up to your logbook, hit this little button here, and you can export that ADI file. There you go. And all you have to do is save that in the, in the proper format and then uh, send that in to your coordinator, and you are off to the races. All in all, you know, I really like it. I use it today, like I said, I mean, it, uh, it, it just doesn't get any easier than that. And I'm, I'm glad we finally have uh, a new application uh, to take out with us when we go portable. All right, thanks for stopping by this side of the radio. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short tutorial on what I think is a really cool app, especially if you're going to go do parks on the air, summits on the air when they get that template issued out. Uh, I think you're really going to like it. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Do the YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, share it. Um, make sure and hit that notification bell. That way you don't miss the next time we drop a video. My name is Shane, K5QBF. We'll see you on the next one.